Hi, welcome to a new series. I'm going to talk in this series on how to make an NPC. An NP stands for C stands for a non-player character in your game. So this could be enemies or it could be uh, friendly uh, non-player characters. So I, I, I've created this new studio, and um, the first uh, game that I have in the project that I have in the studio is the last lesson for my beginner RPG. So the only thing that you'll need to do this, uh, to, to start this series, is to finish my first five videos or lessons on my beginner RPG. So if you've done that, you should have something similar to this game here that I've put in the studio. If you don't want to do all that, you can just use the game, this lesson five game that I have loaded in the studio. So I'm going to make a copy of this and I'm going to call it lesson one. So I'll say file, save as a copy. And this will be lesson lesson one. NPC NPC tutorial lesson one. All right. And um, so here we go. We're, there we go. We've got a new name for this. So this is a new lesson, new project, a uh, copy of the old. And in this project, I already have a sprite called Tile Sets. And so I'm going to go over to the costumes. And we'll take a look here and see what we have. Um, these aren't the only costumes that you could use. You could pull your own in. But if you want to, you can use this sprite sheet. And I'm going to go with this character right here, this, this girl character. All right. And so what I'll do is I'm just going to select all of her costumes. I'm trying to get just her. I've got a little bit of others. That's OK. And I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to create a new sprite. So choose a sprite and then paint a blank sprite. And I'm going to call this NPC. All right. And it's got a costume one. I'm going to convert that to bitmap. And I'm going to paste in the graphics that I just pulled in. Okay. All right. And now I want to go through a very similar process as uh, as I did with my player. So I'm going to call this girl F1. Girl F1 for forward one. And I'm going to zoom in here and I'll look at her forward facing image. And those are these. And so I'm going to just select this one as her F1. Copy that. And I'm going to paste it. And the first thing I want to make sure I do, I'm going to zoom all the way out. See how she's way over here in the corner there? I don't want that. I want her centered. All right. And that'll work. I'll duplicate this and I'll duplicate it because I have three and I'll delete her I'll turn that one into bitmap I'm going to delete this one I'm going to turn that into bitmap and now I'm going to find F2 I'll call this one F2 so I'll copy that Paste it, zoom out, and center, zoom in, and center. And you can see I got a little bit of stuff here that I want to get rid of, and a little 
little bit of the top of this head here from the one below. So I'll delete those two things. Clean that up. So F1, F2, and F3 would be this one then. Paste. So you can see this part is going to be a little bit tedious. Now, if I, I don't want to make my MPC very dynamic. I could have just stuck with just one costume. Okay, So I'm going to stop here um, with adding a bunch and we're just, going to, we're just going to put this just a normal MPC in. Right. At some point, you're going to want to make all these costumes if you want your NPC to walk around and move and do things. But just to really make a basic one, um, let's just get started here. Let's start coding. All right. So um, we want to initialize our code. Um, we want to give her a starting position. This will be her starting position for now. Um, we want to... Uh, give it a costume, so looks, switch costume, and let's just make it F1 for now, okay, and I'll reset the game, okay, and there's the NPC there, now I can just walk right through her, there's no issue, I haven't coded that in, um, and, uh, but what I could do is I could do some sensing, and I could say, uh, touching, so if I'm touching, all right, and so let's do control, and if, if touching player one looks, say hello for two seconds. Let's try that. So now when I walk up to her, and if I touch her, she should say hello. Oh. No, she doesn't because that's only when the game starts. I want that to happen forever, anytime I'm touching. So now it should work. I guess I have to reset. She says hello. So I have a NPC um, in the game that where when I touch them, they say hello. Okay. We could do real quick with what what. Um, we have here, we can even put in a quest, all right? So, uh, what we'll do is, if touching player one, say hello, we're going to say if, then, else. If... And I'm just going to use something I already have in this game. If coins are greater than two, meaning they're three, because there's only three coins in my game, um, we'll say something different. So, like, we could say the, the key is to the left. do that for three seconds. Okay, so now she says hello. But if I pick up all the coins, she says the key is to the left. Just like we told her. And is that true? Yeah. Oh, there's a problem. She's still on the screen. Interesting. So, yeah, we, we haven't really said anything about our screen. So the, almost everything in the game that we create, just like in our items, this code we need on almost everything. Okay? So I'm going to grab this portion and put it in here, my backpack, and I'm going to go over to her, and I'm going to put that code in for her, too. And right now I don't have, um, I'm not making clones of her yet. 
so I don't have a custom block or anything made, so I'm just going to get rid of that portion there and just say 0, 0. And that makes her only show up on 0, 0. All right? So now when I go into other rooms, yeah, we don't see her, which is good. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to take, I just want to do, I want this costume here. So let me zoom out a little bit. We're going to get into some. inequalities. We'll give it a, just a real basic. Um, interaction with my player. I'll show you. Alright, so we'll paste this back and center it. Okay, and we're going to go in our code. And I'm going to bring in another if then statement. So control if then else. Operator greater than sensing distance to. So, and we're going to talk about why this issue. There, I'm going to put it right there. So, if y position of player 1 is greater than the girl's y position, so that means that would be right now. The Y position is greater than her position. I want to switch costumes to costume two. I don't know. It should be costume. It should be girl B1. Code. Girl B1. Else girl F1. So now I've just given a little bit of animation to the girl. So let me reset. And so depending on where I am, she's going to switch costumes. So when I'm below her, she's looking at me that way. And if I'm above her, uh, she should switch. Yeah. She won't switch immediately because she's showing her what she's saying for a second. But if I move above her or below her, she switches. All right. I think I'll stop there for this first episode.